Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be looking at five great use cases for automating your virtual infrastructure no matter what virtualization platform you're working with. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. The very first use case we'll be exploring today is virtual machine deployment. The real benefit of using Ansible Automation Platform for VM deployment is that it takes a time-consuming manual process and makes it fast and consistent. You get a single repeatable action that provisions and clones one or thousands of virtual machines in just minutes. This not only dramatically reduces our chances of human error as we discussed, but also ensures that every new VM is configured to the exact same standards, which is great for security and compliance. And what's more, you can use features like surveys to make the process simple for anyone on your team, even those without deep virtualization knowledge. And Ansible gives us a way to orchestrate these processes into our larger IT flows. This is all about building a solid automated foundation for your entire virtualization infrastructure. Now let's take a practical look at provisioning a virtual machine. This playbook utilizes the provision VM role to create a new virtual machine within our environment. And a quick note, all the roles we'll be working with today are validated pre-built content shared through the Automation Hub to make working with Ansible even easier. By simply defining a few variables within this role, like cluster, folder, name, and hardware specifications, you can automate this entire process without manual steps. Not only can we provision brand new virtual machines, but we can also clone existing ones. Now that we've deployed some VMs, let's take a look at day one automation, the initial setup of your virtual infrastructure. By automating this setup with AAP, you can get your infrastructure customized exactly the way you want it. It provides a consistent platform across all IT infrastructure, which gives you the flexibility to quickly adapt your deployments to meet new demands without a lot of rework. And with Ansible Automation Platform, this is really easy to do. We provide features like push button deployment, automation scheduling, and customizable RBAC to help you keep a safe, consistent, and efficient virtual environment. Now for our second use case. Adjusting System Settings. This playbook adjusts a host's system settings for things like DNS, time zone, and NTP servers. This ensures that every host is configured consistently. The System Settings role does the heavy lifting and handles the complex logic, so you can focus simply on defining your desired values. This means that when you deploy a new hypervisor host, you can be confident that it's production ready and configured to the exact standards of your environment. Okay, now we have our infrastructure set up, but the work isn't done. This brings us to day two automation. Think about the routine work you do every day. You might need to patch a large group of VMs for security updates. You will also need operational awareness, that is gathering key information about the status of your devices or taking VM snapshots for reliable backups. And then you'll have to do guest modifications like adding CPU and memory to a running virtual machine. Ansible can help you automate all of this. Which brings us to our third use case, snapshots. Taking a snapshot is a critical day two operation serving as a safety net before you make changes. And this example shows the real power of Ansible, a consistent automation experience across platforms. On the left, we're using a playbook for VMware, calling the VMware snapshot management role to create a virtual machine snapshot. You simply define a few variables like folder, data center, and snapshot name. Then this can be used before applying a major operating system update or testing a new configuration. On the right, we're doing the exact same operation, but this time for a virtual machine running on OpenShift virtualization. Here, we use the OpenShift VM Backup Restore role, and with just a few parameters, the operation type, VM name, and namespace, you can take a consistent snapshot inside your Kubernetes native infrastructure. Moving on to use case number four, infrastructure visibility. Visibility is the foundation of day two automation. And this playbook demonstrates how we can retrieve information from our virtual infrastructure with Ansible. 
We simply call on our role and select what info we want by setting those variables to true. In this example, we gather specific details about licenses, storage, appliances, and guest VMs, turning our infrastructure into a source of truth for dynamic documentation and dashboards. For example, if we had an auditor ask for a list of all VMs running on a specific version of an OS, you can simply run this playbook to generate that report automatically rather than checking each host manually. Now let's talk about our fifth and final use case for this video, deprovisioning a virtual machine. While the goal is to safely remove a VM, this task is often part of a larger lifecycle workflow, such as preparing a host for maintenance. This playbook is an example of how you can use Ansible to safely and predictably handle VMs before maintenance on an OpenShift virtualization host. Using the VM lifecycle role, we set a variable to gracefully stop any VMs on the host. This ensures that you don't run into unexpected interruptions and that the process is repeatable, whether you're taking down one host or automating fleet-wide maintenance windows. As we've seen, Ansible Automation Platform helps you manage the entire application lifecycle end to end. We started with deploying virtual machines, then we moved through to configuration by performing tasks like adjusting system level settings, then we took a look at snapshots to create a copy of a virtual machine at any specific point in time. Next, we reviewed infrastructure visibility by retrieving system information that can help when synchronizing application state. Lastly, we went over deprovisioning virtual machines where we can remove or stop the virtual machine when the application is no longer needed. And that concludes our overview of how Ansible Automation Platform can help you gain control and flexibility over your virtualization infrastructure. To continue with your automation journey, we have a number of learning resources available on the screen. I also encourage you to take a look at our other virtualization videos in this series. This concludes our presentation for today. Thanks for watching.